Namaste guys, welcome to Place by 28 Jew and my name is Vinaykumar Nainapathuruni. Based upon the last video, I created a 3D model of armature for better explanation and for better views. I've done this in a software which is an open source known as Blender and you guys also can do it with practice. So. But what I'm doing is that I'm placing the armature in different angles and taking the photos and explaining on the photos. Here is one photo like that. I made the model taking this as reference and getting a rendering into this image. So using these type of images, I'm going to explain you the working of three pole DC motor in today's video. This is commutator and this is frame I wrote but it's known as core actually in technical terms and this is coil. This is bearing. These all are the parts I am just briefing them. I have already discussed in the previous video which is in the description and these are the terminals of commutator segments for the stability of winding. The silver color thing is commutator segment. Next. I think it's very clear. You can see the laminations. So laminations. In the last video, I didn't tell you the material with which laminations are made. Laminations are basically made with silica steel. Silica steel. In this, the silicon percentage will be 4%. Okay. Silicon percentage should not exceed that 4% because the material will be brittle, which means it can easily breakable and it should not be less than 3%. Why 3% means consider the hysteresis losses. These hysteresis losses will purely depend upon the material of the core. Okay, so if the material of the core is steel, it will have high magnetic permeability. All the given power will be used for core magnetization. So we don't have the power for rotation. All the power will be utilized by the core to magnetize. In order to stop that magnetization, we add silica that is 4% to 3%. And it should not be greater than 4% it should not be less than 3%. Is that clear? Next. It's a very clear view for the commutator. This view is intentionally taken to explain the commutator. Okay. The black color is there now. This one. This one is known as insulator. So, if we consider the commutator, this is commutator, then how the insulator, where will be the insulator? Let me just explain you. So, if the commutator segments are like this, the insulator will be in between two commutator segments white shaded part is the insulator in that diagram that is because the commutator segment should not be shorted each commutator segment should be individual for that insulator is made up of mica glass plastic phenolic we know that uh, plastic is very cheap material this is very cheap actually. 
therefore in the last video we have the physical model in that the insulator is plastic in high-end motors it will be different coming to this I want to show you the commutator segment terminals and the connections with the coils these three are the commutator segment terminals see the red color things are coils which are connected to commutator segment now I am highlighting with yellow so one terminal will have two coil lengths so the connections will be like this one terminal will be joined with two coil lengths and same will repeat for all the terminals yeah like that understand next this is my favorite view because uh, this view gives much information about the rotor that is armature because we can see the commutator segments insulator terminals coils and core laminations for the instance i am considering the magnets with the green color so the magnets will be on either side one is north and another one is south and next thing i want to i want to give the numbers to the coils okay for that i'm considering a leftmost one as one and the rightmost is two and the bottom one is three next i have to give the numbers for committed segments also one two and three okay so now how will be the connections of the windings considering the rotation of the motor will be that side and now the connections of winding let me draw the coil and how those are connected to the commutator set let me show you how the uh, windings are connected to commutator segments winding one which i'm drawing with yellow color and this is winding two and winding three i'm not taking winding sense into consideration only winding and connected to three and one and coil two is connected to two and one coil 3 is connected to 2 and 3 clear in this way the winding will be there i am not considering winding sense you have to keep that in mind now next thing in order to learn the working principle after seeing the right hand you may get the idea that we are going to discuss about ampere right hand rule actually rs2 means right hand thumb rule so considering a straight conductor if the current direction is i that is towards uh, the thumb represents current direction and in a conductor if current flows through it there will be magnetic field produced that was stated by faraday and the direction of the magnetic field can be known by using ampere's right hand rule so if the current direction described by thumb then the magnetic field direction can be represented by using the remaining four fingers so i'm trying to interpret this one onto the diagram so the direction of other fingers other all other four fingers will show the magnetic field this is for a straight conductor okay understand so now consider a circular conductor which i'm drawing with yellow color circular conductor in which current is flowing i 
so that current if the current is represented by the four fingers as i then the direction of magnetic field can be represented by the direction of thumb so ampere's right hand rule will gives as the direction of current if the magnetic field direction is known or it gives the direction of magnetic field if the direction of current is known understand next coming to the next slide i'm going to use this on the motor in order to get the correct working principle so here already we've discussed this i am taking the miniature of it so if we consider commutator like this we have three insulators and three segments one two three these are the commutator insulators so i am cutting this here and making into like a paper means cutting a cylinder and making it as a plane so i am doing like this so i am doing like this and commutators between commutator 1 and 3 there is one coil number 1 3 and 2 3 2 and 1 2 like that okay so now taking one coil into consideration i want to use the ampere's right hand thumb rule if the direction is from left to right understand i am not taking winding sense into consideration in order not to confuse you i am not taking winding sense into consideration if the direction of current is left to right then the magnetic field direction will be in anti clockwise direction that is towards you here the arrow mark is towards you that you have to remember this is towards you understood if the current is towards right the direction the arrow mark will be towards you so for the explanation i am considering a point at the top of that circle circular field such that you can know from the point how the magnetic fields are coming out if we observe from the point the magnetic field lines are outside so if we take a magnet the magnetic field lines come out from north and will enter into magnet through south considering that we can write the point as north okay if the current direction is from left to right then the magnetic polarity will be north similarly if the current direction is from right to left then the polarity will be obviously south is that clear i'm gonna apply this concept onto the commutator segment diagram let me erase i didn't mention any brush positions but now let me assume the breast position for that instant let me assume the positive brush is at number three and the negative brush is at number one we assumed that the motor is rotating in clockwise direction so the positive brush will tends to go to two from three can from one it will be entering into one i'm going to interpret that on this commutator diagram let me draw the direction of motor and so i'm going to draw that which means i'm going to interpret that diagram onto the commutator segment okay so here the positive brush is will enter into two okay since it is rotating in clockwise direction so i am drawing at edge of 3 okay and the brush new to brush is at starting of 1 basically see here which means after the rotation it will enter fully into 1 
so I am drawing the negative brush at 1 like so this one is positive and that one is negative okay and the direction of motor will be from like clockwise direction so the motor rotates in clockwise direction that implies the commutator segment is left side moving we have to see the relative motion actually since the commutator, commutator segment is rotating with the motor brushes are fixed with respect to brushes commutator segment is rotating left side that one should be remembered properly okay i think uh, you understood we have to see the commutator segment with respect to brushes which are constant i think uh, you are clear with that right so if the brush size is equal to the insulator then there won't be any current flowing through that if the width of the brush is equal to the width of insulator there will not be any current flowing through the like a coil so the important thing we have to consider is that the brush width must be greater than the insulator width of the commutator see i'm drawing that so you have to note that brush width is greater than insulator width yeah i think it's clear so the brush width should be greater than insulator width in order to efficiently use that next let us consider current i is flowing into the positive brush such that it will divide into i by 2 and i by 2 in the third commutator segment so inside the coil 3 there is i by 2 current there is no brush contact at 2 so what happen is that will go into coil 2 from coil 3 and you will get i by 2 plus i by 2 which is equals to i obviously now what we have to do is that we have to check the polarities permanent magnets polarity from the diagram the permanent magnet is north on 1 and south on 3 and 2 okay now what will be the polarities of the coil as i mentioned earlier using ampere right hand rule if the current flowing from right to left it will be south so it will be south so in 3 number 3 coil it is from left to right so it will be north and same in understand and you can repeat that as well in one it is no south and in three it is north okay now if you observe i have given all the polarities of the coils and now what happened is that this south and north north this south which is there will ripple with the permanent magnet and the north and south will attract north and south will attract the same south which is rippling to the south will attracted by north and causing the direction which we assumed earlier that's how the motor rotates in clockwise direction understood after that the motor rotates the brushes will again move to another position okay since we are considering this as the commutator segment is moving to the left side now the brushes will move towards right for time being i am drawing that in another diagram okay 
the brushes should shift towards right as i already discussed the brush which is on 3 at the edge of 3 will now move to 2 and the brush which is at starting of 1 will move to ending of so plus minus as usual i'm going to give the currents let us assume the n on 3 and s on 2 and 1 now i'm going to assume current i is flowing inside the positive brush so that i by 2 in number coil 3 and i by 2 in coil 2 there is no brush connection in coil 3 so what happen is that the current in the coil 3 will transfer to coil 1 so the current in coil 1 is i by 2 and coil 2 is i by 2 total sum i will come out of the negative brush i think it's clear now we have to see the poles from right to left in coil 3 which gives us south pole and from left to right in coil 2 north and same as south now south and north will attract north and south will attract and south and south will repel gives the direction as usually in clockwise direction i think you understood but unfortunately if the brush is between two commutator segments what happened let us discuss let me explain if the brush is between 2 and 1 positive brush is between 2 and 1 and negative brush is at 3 what happens if the brush's position is like that so if the brush's position is like that it is very clear that 2 has the same potential at both ends that is because at the contact of brush the potential difference between 2 and 1 is same because same brush is in contact with two commutative segments so the potential difference will be same that is same potential what happen if the same potential consider a resistor and it has two terminals v and v okay so the current through it is i i equals to v minus v by r which is equals to zero so there will not be any current flowing through the resistor if the potential difference is zero the same thing is happening with the coil number so the coil number 2 will not have any current flowing through it understood since there is no current flowing through 2 we can eliminate it obviously we are eliminating it and now it is very simple there will be current of i by 2 in coil 3 and current of i by 2 in coil 1 and the written current will be i by 2 plus i by 2 from coil 1 and coil 3 and that will be i which is taken out from the negative brush now coming to the polarities first of all we have to take into consideration the amperes right hand rule so we get south and north and permanent magnet polarity is north and south south and north will attract south and north will attract and the motor will rotate in the same direction hope you guys learned something new and every dc motor working should be learned like this thank you subscribe for more